Congratulations. Thanks. Uh, okay. Um, I wish to thank Glisten, obviously, for the years of commitment to our youth and to helping educators support our youth. I need to thank David Fisher from the Illinois Safe School Alliance, who I've now known for about 10 years as we've worked in this area for nominating me. It came out of the blue, and thank you so much. I need to take my, thank my superintendent, Dr. Judy Wiegand, because without her leadership, there would not be a place for us to have these conversations. You have to create a space to do these things, and she has done so. I'd like to thank my husband, who is here with me tonight, because uh, 25 years ago about, he introduced me to his parents, and he said, she's a really good eater, Mom. <laughs> and right after that, he introduced me to his Aunt Sue and his Aunt Sharon, and I knew we were of like minds. As an advocate for social justice, I have often been told I'm brave, um, and it's, it's just really not true. I, I do use my positional authority, I think that's very important that we do so when we get leadership positions. Um, but the bravery is really coming from the students, and I have crossed the paths of many. Um, the bravery of Tabitha and Hildegard, who did come with us here today from Champaign, Illinois, <laughs> who work as activists and advocate for students in their high schools, which can sometimes be daunting places. The bravery of Juan, who was a bit more feminine than other boys, who at the age of 10 found himself in my class for students identified as having emotional disabilities. Or if Steve, with his beautifully mascaraed eyes, who found his way into my high school special education class. Or the bravery of Kenny, who um, really did push the limits of how short a miniskirt should be. <laughs> also landed in an alternative high school where I happened to work. Each of them were searching for themselves, and they ended up in the all too common place for students, for LGBT students, separated from the general population as they struggle to make sense of a world that sometimes does not accept them. The bravery of Lisa, who now as an adult is in the process of transitioning, who came to me when I was her high school principal and said, I can't go through the locker room thing again like middle school. Please help me. The bravery of Kanisha, who often found herself physically fighting with her mother due to her sexual orientation, who ended up becoming homeless at the age of 16. The courage of others who asked me for help because their parents had kicked them out because they had come out. They need to figure out how to fi finish high school, how to continue their jobs, and how to go on to college. The bravery of Alan, the student senate president who proudly dressed in drag for our homecoming activities and brought his male dates to our dances and the courage of the young men on our football team who, while Alan was getting teased by a student from another school at our prom, stepped in and said, do not mess with him. Yeah. The bravery of Terry, who, when new to our school, set up a meeting with me because his records would indicate he was female. He wondered if I would help him establish himself as a male by asking our teachers to call him Terry and using the words he and him. The courage of Alice, Sandy, Danielle, Susie, Dawn, Nancy, Chris, Brad, Tom, and Stacy, the incredible teacher here with me today. Let's give them a hand because we don't talk about the teachers that often. The teachers who work in schools all too well relating to the struggles faced by our LGBT students. And finally, the strength of Jane, who was emotionally tormented and at one point physically battered to the point of hospitalization, who eventually found herself hanging from a noose in a doorway and thankfully found the ability to withstand the pain and move forward. So I have not had to be brave. I have benefited from heterosexism and white privilege, my religion, the language I speak, the fact that I am able-bodied, I come from educated professionals, has made it so I don't have to demonstrate such bravery bravery just to be who I am. Thank you, Glisten, to everyone in this room for working so hard to make it so that someday no one will have to be brave.